Okay, so great code uh, problem from the CSES uh, problem set. So let's go ahead and first read the task. So a great code is a list of all uh, 2 to the power of n bit strings, so strings that contain only the character 0 and 1, okay, and which are of length n, okay, where any two, con any two successive strings differ in exactly one bit. In equivalence, their Hamming distance is one. So, uh, if you take the two uh, strings, they are going to be the same except in one bit. Okay, they are going to have only one bit to be different. Okay, so if you have uh, like a number like uh, this number here, okay, and you add one, it will become this number. Okay, if you go plus one. Okay, uh, these two strings. They have a Hamming distance of three because you have the first uh, digit, uh, dif the first bit which is different, the second uh, bit which is different, and the third one is different. Okay, so that will not be uh, the case. Like you do not use the sum operation to determine uh, the distance between two strings. Okay, so anyway, this problem uh, let's also uh, see the constraints. So y you get the input, uh, you get n as the input. And you have to print a list, okay, and you can print any valid solution, okay. Uh, the constraints are that n uh, is uh, greater or equal to 1 and smaller or equal to 16, okay, which is very small. And we're going to see why. So an approach is to, like, uh, make a topology of this. Like, uh, you can notice that you can split uh, all the strings by the bits that they differ. And, like, uh, notice that... When you follow a path on this topology, you will get eventually your uh, gray code because each uh, edge represents that we have only one bit difference. Like if you notice, like every in individual st uh, string has uh, only one bit difference from every string that uh, they are connected, okay? Uh, but uh, like this uh, way ca can be very hard to like notice, like, you may not be able to list the patterns, okay? So there is another easier way to solve this problem. Uh, and that is uh, by trial and error. So you begin with string uh, zero, zero. Like you have all your strings that have, uh, uh, like if you have n equals to four, you're going to have a four zeros, okay? Anyways, so what you can do afterwards is this. You can go ahead and switch any of the beats, okay? Like beginning from the left, the right, uh, the Least significant, least significant bit up to the most significant bit. You can just change them. Like I change this one, okay? And you can have a map uh, data structure, like a map here, that has the list of all the strings that you have already used, okay? You can go ahead and check if this string is already here. If it is not, great, you can use it uh, afterwards. So it's going to be your next uh, string in your uh, array, okay? Uh, afterwards, you can do the same. So if I change the first one, I'm going to see. I'm going to check in my map, and I will see that oh, I already have this thing. Okay, so I'm not going to use uh, that specific thing. So I'm gonna change then the, the next bit. Okay, I change the next bit, so I get this number zero zero one one. Okay, uh, if I go to my map, uh, this thing doesn't exist in my map, so I can add this. And if you keep doing this, you're eventually gonna finish uh, and create your list. Okay, uh, now. Uh, a lot of you may ask uh, what is the time complexity of this so this is very reasonable yes so for let's say for each uh, number we're going to have like we're going to have at most t uh, 2 to the power of 16 obviously because n is 16 at most and for each one if for each one of them you're gonna uh, check each one of its bits okay so at most you're going to check 16 bits okay and uh, since you have only 16 okay and uh, for each bit, you're going to make a query in your map, which takes n log n, so these, so it's times 16, okay? So if you do this uh, calculation here, you're going to see that uh, the number of uh, operations that you will need is not that much, and you will pass with the uh, one second limit, okay? So let's go ahead and try and develop this solution. So I know that there might be other solutions that uh, require you to find some crafty way to like find the path inside the topology. But uh, this is the most straightforward and easiest one. 
uh, which passes with the time limit. If they if they decrease the time limit, then I think it's going to be more difficult to do this. Okay, so like you cannot do this with a map. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, try to implement this. Okay, so uh, you're gonna write your number n. This is my function where I. Sorry. Okay, you're gonna read your number n, and uh, afterwards, what you are going to do is this. You're going to have a vector. Uh, let's, let me, uh, let's make it this a string. Let's make this uh, a solution vector. Okay. Uh, you're going to have your initial string. Let's put this at t, and afterwards let's go from uh, one to n, and just add zeros at the end of it. Okay, you are going to just add the zeros at the end of it. Okay, perfect. So afterwards, after we have added zeros uh, at the end of it, uh, we have the first uh, individual uh, string. Okay, so we're just gonna push back uh, this initial string. Okay, and now uh, until we have uh, our si the size of our vector is not equal to. Uh, 2 to the power of 16, so let's also make this here. So how you you will find the 2 to the power of 16, you can have your number here. Let's then this uh, p for power, okay? And uh, let's do this here. So uh, from 1 to n, what you will do is this. You will say p equals to 2 times uh, p, okay? You are going to do this p times, and so you begin from number n, okay? So until the size of your solution is not equal to the size of your uh, string, of, of your uh, uh, maximum, like how many numbers you will have, until you don't have this many numbers, you're gonna keep processing. And how you're gonna do this is this. So you're gonna have your map of strings as well. Map. Let's make this MP for map. You just have this, and what you will do is this. Uh, you're going to begin from the first number, so from uh, i equals to 1 until i is uh, not is smaller than uh, the size of uh, the last one. So let's name this. Let's also have a, a string that is, we're going to call last, and it's initially the initial string. Okay, okay, what you do is this you go here, you increase this each time. And uh, what you will s you do is this, uh, if uh, so let's take uh, also the last thing, so you're going to take your the last thing to be the current one. Okay, so you have your current string, it's going to be the last, yeah, initially. Uh, okay. So you're, if it is zero, you're gonna make it one. <coughs> so now I'm making the change, okay? Okay, you changed that specific uh, character, okay? So whatever it is, you, you flip it, actually. And now you're going to change, uh, you're gonna check that you do not have this in your map. So you go, uh, mp dot find the current string if this equals to mp n so you do not have this in what you do is this you say last equals to current uh, then you say uh, in, you push this in your solution okay and you also put it in your map, so you say mp, okay, so you, so you did both, so you updated your solution, you updated your map, okay, you updated your last string, but in the case that it is not in, you also have to break here, okay, so once you have uh, found your string, you break here, okay, uh, if you do not break, so what you do is this, uh, you're going to change your string again in the position that you did change it, and you're going to move on. 
to the next to the next character. Okay, you go I plus one, so you, you go to the next character to try and flip it. Okay, and essentially that's that's the solution. Okay, and you go and you create your solution. It's end on again. And uh, yes, so this is pretty much it, the solution for great code, guys. It's uh, like you, you do indeed can ha find a constructive way, but this is the most like uh, uh, naive way that just uses the STL map uh, data structure. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this. See if we have any bugs. Nothing. So let's go ahead and test this. So I go here in my codes. So grid paths. Okay, and let's run this for uh, like uh, let's go for four. Okay. So let's see. Let's zoom this in for you guys to see. So you have all zeros. Then you have one changed. Okay. So you have we we forgot to put the first string in the vector. So we're gonna say here we have to put this in the map. So uh, MP of last equals one. So we build this. Okay. So let's clear this and uh, run this again. For, so for number four. So we go. Sorry. Okay. So it is different by one, 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 different by one. And it goes so on until the end, okay? So that's it. That's pretty much uh, how you, you're going to do this. It's a very straightforward way. Uh, there is a constructive way. Let's submit also to make sure we are going to get this in the time limit as well. So submit. Go here. Go to your code. Submit. Pending. Testing. And accept it. Okay? So that's pretty much the solution. The most like straightforward and using the STL uh, map data structure, okay, solution. Uh, I think that there should be like a constructive solution as well, but like if you are in a competitive programming competition, you will not sit down and try to figure out, oh, what is the most constructive way I can do this? Like uh, you're not gonna sit down and do the math when you have uh, a data structure to back you up, okay? So use your data structures uh, smart, okay? Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's pretty much the video. Uh, if you like the video, if you find this helpful, uh, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in whatever I will be making next. Goodbye.